Right before we get into this video, if you want to support me or communicate with me, please go follow my Twitter and join my Discord server. You can find both links in the description. If you would like to support me in Fortnite, feel free to use code LICKBTW in the Fortnite item shop. Thanks so much, I hope you enjoy the video. I might tag team with Mama Young Jeff Hardy. Yeah, I might pull up to your party. Keep a glizzy on me just in case he try to rob me. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you guys how to make that insane build up you guys just saw in the intro and I'm going to be doing that right now in the app Alight Motion. So obviously I'm going to open up the app right here and I'm going to create a new project and just call it whatever you want, 4K resolution of course and 60fps. Just create the project now and obviously the first thing you're going to do is add in your clip. I'm not going to add a song right now just for the purpose of this. I'll add that in later for the intro clip you guys just saw. But I'm sure you guys know what to sync. I've made tutorials on it before and right now I'm just going to show you guys how to do this with just the clip. So right here. We are greeted with the clip, and I have not added impact, but there is velocity. I'm not going to worry about impact right now. So obviously, first thing, same as always, just split the clip right on this frame where the pellets draw up right here. Just click on the clip, press this middle button, and you're good to go. Then what we're going to do is go to where we want the build up to start around. Actually, before we do that, we're going to go to this first half, and we're going to press, press on it if I can actually do that. We're going to press this button right here and press duplicate layer. And again, guys, sorry if I'm going through this pretty quickly. Just want to make this tutorial pretty quickly. And if you guys go step by step, you should be able to figure this out relatively easily. So I'm going to go to around where I want the build to start. So I want to start around before I make the edit. So right here is fine. I'm going to split the clip right here and delete this first half. And now I should have this little layer right above this. And that is what I'm going to be adding my effects onto. So I'm going to click on it, add, pr press effects, add effect. And the first thing we're going to do is add saturation and vibrance. And what we're going to do here, we simply change the saturation all the way down to negative 100. I know that, does, that looks a little bit interesting right now, but don't worry. We'll make it look better when we add more effects. Now we're going to add replace color. And this is first option with standard settings. And what we're going to do, guys, is a little bit complicated. Not too complicated if you know what you're doing, of course. Just press on this little red thing. Press this color picker. And then just drag this to around your character's skin, something like that. You can always change this part. I know it looks really bad right now, but don't worry about that too much. Now we're gonna go back into effects, add effect, and then press exposure slash gamma. And this is what we're gonna add to make it look a lot better. Simply raise the exposure, either raise or lower gamma, and just change this around. This looks kind of crazy, of course. Just play around with these settings until you get something that you like. It's all personal preference. And see, this looks kind of bad in my opinion. So just keep playing around with this. And I'll get back with you guys when I have something that I like. All right, guys, I'm back. And I did find something that I like. This is a little bit different than what I usually do with Magic Bullet looks on mobile. But it, I think it actually looks pretty cool, even though it's pretty different than anything I ever used. So if I go back into Exposure Gamma, guys, th these are the settings that I decided to use. I just raised Exposure a bit, lowered Gamma, played around with them, and I found this. I actually don't mind it too much. I think it's pretty cool. And now I'm going to show you guys how to fade it in. So all we're going to do, the reason we made it on this secondary layer is so we can change opacity and made it fade in and out really easily. So we're simply going to go into blending and opacity, and we're going to go to the very beginning, add a keyframe here, go to where around where we start pulling our gun out. So I'm going to do it around here, and then we're going to go to this first keyframe, and simply change the opacity down to zero. Now we're, we have our, we ha it has a nice fade in to our blue magic boat looks, and I actually really do like this. It is different than most things you'll see. Of course, if you guys play around with the settings, you guys can get the regular Magic Bullet look so you guys see everyone use with the isolate color and stuff like that. If you guys don't know how to add a pinch or shake buildup, I, I have already made tutorials on that on my channel. I'll link them down in the description down below. If you guys want to check those out, it really adds to the Magic Bullet looks. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to stop right here and end this tutorial now. I do hope you guys found this Magic Bullet looks tutorial helpful. It is similar to my snow buildup if you guys noticed, but I think this is a little bit different. I like it a lot more. Hope you guys did find this video helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button. It really does help me out a lot and I'd really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys later. I might pull up to your party. Keep a glizzy on me just in case he's try to rob me. Perky in my system got me feeling kind of nauseous. My bitch way too pretty out here looking like a Barbie.